Hi there. Now, for this part of the question, we're asked to solve this differential equation here. And we're given these boundary conditions as well. So, in order to do this, we have to separate the variables. So, let's just copy down the equation here. Make a few changes, though. So, we've got dy by dx equals, and I can see we've got the exponential function e to the x, but then cosec 2y is 1 over sine 2y, and cosec y is 1 over y. So we can think of this then as e to the power x, all divided by sine 2y, sine y. Okay? And this makes it easier to switch the variables around, to change the variables. We bring all the y terms to one side, and all the x terms to the other. So if I multiply both sides by the sine 2y sine y, then rearranging this, I'm going to get sine of 2y sine y dy equals, and then we move the dx, we've got e to the power x dx. Now you shouldn't leave it like this, we're integrating both sides, okay? So we've got that. Now, when it comes to integrating this, I notice that sine 2y and sine y here, this is not an obvious integral at the moment, but sine 2y, remember, is 2 sine y cosine y. So 2 sine y times this sine y is going to give me 2 sine squared y, and then we'll just have a cos y. So I'm going to rewrite this then as 2. I'm going to pull the 2 out the front here because it's a constant. And then we've got sine squared y times cosine y. That's integrated with respect to y. And then we've got the integral of e to the x with respect to x. Well, that's just simply e to the power x. That's a nice easy one. And then we've got a constant of integration plus c. So integrating this, how are we going to do it? Well, it's one that we should recognize. It's an integral by recognition. I can see that if I was to differentiate with respect to y, say, let's put this in brackets here, say sine y, I'll leave a little space here for an adjustment factor, sine y all cubed. I'm adding 1 to the power of sine squared y. If I was to differentiate this, and it have to be through the chain rule, what I would get is the 3 would go to the front, so it would have 3, reduce the power by 1, so that's going to be sine squared y, and then we'd multiply by the differential of sine y, which is cosine y. But there is no 3 in front of this integral here. It's just sine squared y cosine y. So I can make an adjustment factor because it's just a constant. If I was to times this by a third, then I'm just going to have 1 here, just sine squared y cos y. So that third would go there. So in other words, this just gives me, let's just put it down here, this just gives me sine squared y, cosine y. So I know that by differentiating this, I end up with sine squared y cos y. So obviously the integral of this must be a third, sine y all cubed, or sine cubed y. So therefore, what I've got is this 2 here. So we just got, therefore, 2 divided by the 3, or 2 times a third, that's going to give me 2 thirds, okay? I'll just put that red 3 in there, just so you can see where we're picking it up. But it's going to be sine cubed y, okay? And that's done by recognition. And it's going to equal e to the power x, then, plus the constant of integration, plus c. So this, essentially, is what I'm thinking about when I integrate this part here, okay? And with practice, you shouldn't have to necessarily write this. You should be able to find yourself going to straight to this, okay? 
Anyway, just got to carry on now. We've just got to work out what that constant of integration C is. And we pick up on these initial conditions here. That is that we're told that when x equals 0, we know that y equals pi upon 6. And if I substitute these values into here, we've got, therefore, 2 thirds of sine of or sine cubed, I should say, of pi upon 6 must equal e to the power 0 plus c. Well, we've got the 2 thirds here, 2 thirds, and pi upon 6, well, that's going to be a half, so if we cube that, that's going to be 1 eighth, okay? 1 eighth there. e to the power 0, that's 1, and then we've got plus c. So what we've got here is 1 12th, and then if we subtract 1, that will give us C. C will equal 1 12th minus 1, which is going to be minus 11 twelfths. And therefore, I can just substitute that back into here, and we've got 2 thirds then of sine cubed y equals e to the power x minus 11 twelfths. And we could leave it like that, okay, as the solution then to our differential equation.